But talk to me about this. New Orleans Saints on Friday here uh, at the Packers. Saints, or Packers, I should say, minus three. Favorite to get a little home field advantage there. Over under more realistically than what we saw in the week one's uh, totals, 39 and a half for this, this one. Where are you going with this one? What are you thinking here? Yeah, it's, you know, it's interesting. They're practicing right now against each other, and we've been following the reports very closely. And it sounds like, you know, both defenses have played much better than the offenses, and then Green Bay's offense has looked better overall. I- I'm going to side with Green Bay in this game. It's their only home game. They're coming off a loss against San Francisco. They're laying just three mm-hmm. here. Uh, the offense did look good last week. They had over 430 yards against the Niners. They averaged 6.6 yards per play. Um, quarterback Jordan Love will get another – he'll get as many snaps as he wants again in this game. They're going to play him a lot to see what he's got. Um, right. He was 13 of 24 with 176 yards passing, two touchdowns. He had three interceptions, but two of them were basically on the wide receivers. Um, the defense right. looked really good. They held the 49ers to just 328 total yards, 6.07 yards per play. So, you know, as far as offense and defensively, I think Green Bay's further ahead than the Saints right now. The That's Saints hard. offense did not look good last week against the Texans, and the Texans defense last year was atrocious. They were 23rd, I think, in, in total defensive efficiency a year ago. Um they struggled. They, you know, they only ran the ball for 3.5 yards per play. They had 130 rushing yards and 37 touches, 270 total yards of offense. Uh, the defense did look good for the Saints, but you know, no, no Camara, no Thomas, uh, no Jameis Winston here. So um, I think the Saints will kind of play it safe a little bit here, and I, and I do like Green Bay minus a three. I would not lay more than three and a half on this game or three on this game. I would not lay three and a half, but at three, I'd consider Green Bay. Okay. Um, and hey, I'll tell you what, I watched that Packers Niner game last week and both teams, I mean, the, the outcome, the actual scoreboard did not really reflect on what either team I thought did. Um, you saw a lot of Green Bay just kind of trying different packages and different schemes, so to speak, on defense and different packages on offense. Um, but uh, I, I agree with there's a level and the Packers are just on a different level than where the Saints are right now, uh, offensively and defensively, realistically. So yeah. I like that here. I, I kind of kind of lean on the over here, uh, but I haven't bet anything officially or anything like that. But I kind of lean that way. I just think uh, I think Jordan Love in his second week, more reps um, against not as good a defense as the Niners. I think he could get score some points here, but I like this. I wouldn't. I agree with you here. I wouldn't do more than three, though. Three yeah. and a half. I'd probably just stay off of it, yeah. and I don't even want to go to the Saints on this way. Right. Uh, but appreciate that. 